You have been asking for an update on sweet potatoes, and let me tell you something. I think there's gonna be good sweet potatoes. The thing is, you never know until you start digging. So I like to leave them. As you can see, the vines took over everything, and they're looking blacked on top. That's because the other night they got a light frost. I like to leave them at least one light frost. That actually helps sweeten the potatoes slightly, and also the longer you can leave them in, they're still gonna be growing and getting slightly bigger. So if you give them a longer growing season, that's, that's great. So once they start to look really black and you for sure should take them out, but after they get a light frost like this, I like to. And what I do to start, because it's hard to know where to even dig at this point, is I cut off the green top. So all this green should be coming from central plants, which if you remembered, when I planted them, I planted just little, little slips, little leaves with little roots on them, like six of them in this area and look. So I'm finding those central areas and then I'm able to start taking these leaves, cutting them away. So I'm gonna keep cutting all these away and then we can start, oh, there you go, see? Here is one area where all those leaves are coming off of and you can tell already that here are some potatoes underneath. So I'm gonna take the rest of these leaves off and then we can start digging and seeing hopefully what will be a good harvest. That is, you can actually eat the leaves Obviously there's gonna be more there than I would probably ever eat and that's just not something I usually do, but I do compost them. Any of this green material is great to add to compost. I'm finishing off with this last hill in this area. I say this area because I have then three more areas just like this. You would think I'm starting a sweet potato farm, but you know, why not guys? So I've exposed the bed. This is kind of a semi-raised bed. And I did that because potatoes are gonna be easier to dig than, they're a root. So now what I'm gonna do is grab my shovel and you can see on each plant here I have, I think I have about nine plants here, nine or 12. Right underneath them is where all them are. So that's why they grow such big vines because all those vines are supporting these roots that they're growing, which is what you wanna eat. I'm gonna grab my shovel, let's start digging. So I'm using these big plastic crates that have a lot of holes all over them. They're perforated, the air can move through them, and that's gonna help these have good air circulation. You just don't want them to get stagnant, trap in moisture because then it could cause rot. So you can use two things. You could use a shovel. You can also use a little fork or a potato fork, and it kind of is more just your comfort level. I probably kind of come at this always knowing I'm probably gonna pierce through a few, and that's just how it is. Guys, doing this video could be scary in the sense that who knows if I'll have any, and then you'll just all see that. Okay, I would just not post it. Oh my, okay, so, first one. <laughs> She's a big one. It's a beauty though. That is a gorgeous one. This is a Japanese potato because it is a white one, which I love the white ones. They have a delicious kind of rich texture, and they have less moisture in them, I always think. So I'm gonna start digging these up placed them in there. There's gonna be more in here. Oh yeah, there's more. So we'll have to keep digging and seeing what all we have. Oh, that's a nice one too. So I'm digging a different type now. This is a good time to tell you about one of the things about sweet potatoes, especially for me. I'm in Iowa, right in front of me, all around me are fields, corn, soybeans, always. What do fields have a lot of? We have a lot of mice, field mice. And what does that mean? Mice love sweet things. So this can be really normal for me is to find sweet potatoes that have been eaten on. And it looks like to me, the variety, these are more of the traditional yellow and they're probably a little bit sweeter. They're the ones I'm finding more of them eaten on. So obviously, no good. The ones that are good, I'm gonna use. If you're brave, you could totally cut out maybe some of the worst parts and still eat them, but you also don't know what um, mice harbor, especially diseases and things. So when they eat on them, it's probably just not the best. So I'm taking the ones that are good. That's why I planted a lot, because I'm still gonna get some. It's just one of the things you have to be ready for. That's, you know, I don't have necessarily a lot of other varmints. I don't get deer, but I get field mice. We keep digging. So as you can see, I still have a decent amount of sweet potatoes. If they all would have been perfect potatoes, I would have had, these would have been overflowing actually. So field mice definitely ate some. That's why mom and I have not grown them probably for like 10 years because of the whole mice issue. 
So it's a good reminder. There's really not much I can do about that. I could try to move them farther into my yard, but they could still be attracted to it. So we'll see. I'm still happy with it. And honestly, now what we need to do is let them somewhat cure. So an industrial farmer that actually grows these to sell at grocery stores and such would put them in like an 80 to 85 degree room, keep them at that temperature for a bit because that will help them really cure and it concentrates their sugars, makes them sweeter, makes them better. That's not as easy to do at home. So I put them in a warm room. For me, it's my plant room and I'm gonna put them because it has a lot of windows in it so it heats up decently during the day not quite that warm but um that's where i'm going to put them so they kind of cure and i'm going to do that for you know about 10 days maybe two weeks i will probably in that time also knock off some of this extra dirt that's on them it would have been better if it had been just a stitch drier because then the dirt crumbles away better but this is the good time i had to dig them all up so now let them cure then put them after that 10 to 15 day period i'm going to then put them in a dark kind of cooler area like my basement or something like that and keep them for the winter use and use them. So I'm really happy with it. And as you can see, it's totally worth planting some sweet potatoes. If you're in town or something, you don't have to really worry about field mice. So don't you worry about that. Share this video around. Gardening is pretty simple. Gardening can be fun and you can actually grow quite a bit of food for yourself with not too much work. I planted these in the spring, pretty much did nothing with them until now. So now I just get to enjoy the fruits of the labor and have some good, delicious roasted sweet potatoes and who knows what else. So share it around. Tell me what you think. If you have a way to get rid of field mice forever, tell me. And until next time, go have some sweet potatoes. Just go buy some good ones if you want to. Roast them up. That's what I'm going to do.